Pro Group Management. Workers' Comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Good evening, I'm Jen Ah. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. The Clark County School District addresses threats made on social media. That starts off Top Stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. CCSD's message to parents, these threats are often made with the intent of disrupting learning, but they do take threats seriously, referring to social services for those who need help. To better identify what kind of stressors our families and students are dealing with so that we can front load them with supports and resources and partnership so that they can perform to the best of their ability here. Officials report vague threats being made to schools across the U.S. CCSD police say the threat originated in Florida and is a hoax. And if you can get fresh cupcakes out of a vending machine, why not fresh books? The Clark County Library District is hoping to encourage reading through its new library kiosk at the Boulevard Mall. Governor Joe Lombardo talking about his agenda and education reform this morning. It all boils down to this, K through three, read by three. If, uh, if you're not proficient, it's proven. It's proven through all the math and statistics. If, it's, if you are not capable of reading proficiently, by uh, the third grade, uh, you have trouble for the rest of your life. This mobile library is in place in partnership with the Latin Chamber of Commerce. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. The feds are pushing the pause button after the controversial $250 million plan to pump groundwater in Utah receives backlash from Nevada. Tribal members, ranchers, and rural governments in both Utah and Nevada are concerned about its environmental impact. Water officials in Utah say they've requested more time to complete their environmental reviews. In our neck of the woods, get ready for a clear night in the 70s. Should dip into the 60s soon, then 50s overnight with some clouds. Happy Cinco de Mayo! A pleasant holiday weekend in your 7-day forecast. On Saturday, a high of 76 and low of 55 degrees with partly cloudy skies and 20 mile per hour winds. A calmer and sunny Sunday and Monday in the 80s. Some clouds and winds on Tuesday, then more sunshine ahead for Wednesday and beyond. In business, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. A Canadian company wants to take the tedious task of slicing lemons, limes and oranges out of a bartender's hands and give it to a machine. Review Journal's Renee Semrauer has more on the Supercut system. That's right, CEO and founder Kevin Sockarch said he wants his company's countertop citrus slicing machine to help the Las Vegas hospitality industry and help reduce food waste and prep time. The company opened its U.S. headquarters in Las Vegas more than a year ago to focus on the food and beverage industry within casinos. Sockarch, a former bar and restaurant owner, says that the products offer multiple solutions. It avoids the tedious and potentially dangerous task of prep work, allowing an employee to spend more time with the customer instead of cutting dozens of fruit slices. And it allows the bar or restaurant to cut citrus on demand, reducing food waste and giving the customer a fresher fruit slice. I decided just out of my passion for business um, and for the industry was to actually solve this problem and be the one individual that took it from inception all the way to mass production. The machine's price starts at $3,899. A monthly lease is also available. And the Red Rock Resorts Incorporated remains tight-lipped about its binding agreement to sell nearly 49 acres to the Oakland A's. However, its executives reveal their confidential deal with the A's should close by the fourth quarter, referring to it as their Viva site. They say the entire Viva site consists of 96 acres, so if the A's transaction closes and they exercise their eight-acre option, we still retain 39.3 acres for future modernization, hoping the A's proposed $1.5 billion stadium will in turn increase the value of their remaining property. Sports brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. The Knights are looking to take a 2-0 series lead, a key part of trying to take that lead. And of course, win this series is going to be staying out of the box and limiting Edmonton's number one ranked power play. Uh, its top unit is so lethal with Connor McDavid, Leon Dreisaitl, and company on it. The Knights know they're in for a difficult challenge. The Oilers' power play went two for three in game one. They'll look to slow that down in game two. In Health, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital. We're here for you when you need us. 
Experts say alcohol moderation is key to good health, especially for women trying to minimize menopause symptoms. A lot of women have different triggers, and for some, alcohol may trigger their symptoms, and so they may just naturally avoid it because they notice that their hot flashes and night sweats get worse. Sleep problems are another common symptom of menopause. Many people think, oh, a glass of wine might be nice to make me sleepy. It just disrupts your sleep. So limit alcohol intake to no more than one drink per day and make sure to measure out the appropriate portion. Sports betting brought to you by the Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Golden Knights are home underdogs to the Oilers in Game 2 of their NHL second round playoff series Saturday at T-Mobile Arena. Edmonton is minus 122 at the Westgate Superbook and the Knights are plus 105. The total is 6.5 and, and the over is a minus 135 favorite after the teams combined for 10 goals in the Knights 6-4 win in Game 1. The Knights are minus 220 on the plus 1.5 puck line and minus 130 favorites to win the series. In Entertainment, sponsored by Arizona Charlies, has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlies.com to see who's playing. Country's favorite trio, the Chicks, bring on one of the most memorable shows by a landslide. Here's John Katsimidis' review. The Chicks are taking over back to theater at Planet Hollywood. They opened on Wednesday night and are here through the weekend in a six-show series. Natalie Maines, Marty McGuire, and Emily Strayer hold court. They performed for two hours and 20 minutes, which is rare in Las Vegas, believe this, but they just play until they're finished. They have a message, research what that message is. They have a point of view and they are musically outstanding. This is definitely a residency production to see. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you have Amazon Fire TV, just search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. See you on Monday for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.